Hello, hello everyone. And look at this picture here. Oh my goodness, Leila is in attendance. Hello, Leila. <laughs> it looks like I'm really sort of like it's really cold in here. It's not. <laughs> I just I just wanted to be cozy. So I thought I'll put on my love look shawl and wrap it really tightly around me. Hello, Leila. Come on. What you want? Oh, goodness me. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. Come. No. You don't want to do that. Come on. Oh, dear. Right. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull this a little bit closer because it seems to be not in the right place where I normally have it. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Oh, everyone from Norway. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Solveig. Hello. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Eileen. Mary, hello. Hi, Dottie. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Wendy, hello. Yes, all cosy. All cosy. Hi, Susanna. Hello. Hi, Ingrid. Hello. Hi, Di. Hi, Lillian. Hi, Laura. Oh, my goodness. Elise, hello. Hi, Joyce. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it was a Mother's Day today in the UK. My two sent me a message. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Look at that. Look at this. Um, hey, Dag Luz. Goedenavond. Hey, Sandra. Hi, Eileen. Joanne. Hi. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Benedict. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> um yeah so we've been quite busy hello Trencha. hi megan hi carolyn oh my goodness hi paula hi eleni yes very sophisticated yes the lighter hair in front yes yeah, sorry that it's showing up but there you go. That's how it goes. It's what I call my, um, you know, my little bit of what's what, what she called again, the lady in the 101 Dalmatians. It's my um, my streak there. <laughs> oh. My Cruella streak. That's what it is. Yes, it's my Cruella streak. That's what I call it. Cruella. Yes, and I was going to curl my hair. Didn't happen. There we go. Sometimes things just don't go the way you want it to go. <laughs> yes, my Corella de Vil streak. <laughs> oh, well, Laurel. Well, why not? Why not? Um, at least it's consistent. <laughs> Mine isn't. Mine isn't so much, but there we go. We tried to um, hide it, but I guess in this light, oh, look, there's another streak here happening. Oh, my word. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, let's not start looking at that. Thank you very much. Next week, I shall be wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, hello, everyone. Welcome to the moderators as well. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Angel. Hi, Chris. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Karen. And hi, Julie. Oh, Julie wasn't so well today, so she might not be here. Uh, but, um, oh, welk papier kom je me brengen? Oh, okay. He says he's coming to get bring me a piece of paper. Interesting. Interesting. Um, William, uh, let's see if we've outdone myself after you have made the cow. We have quite the story to tell yeah okay ah okay hi everyone <laughs> <laughs> oh he has been out all day at the storage 
packing the packs and sorting all your packages. Thank you so much, darling, for buying the packs, for taking part in the cow. The testers and I are still working very... Oh, look at that, Scout. There's a whole list of them saying hello, Derek. He'll, he'll have a look in a minute. Um, so, yes, he has been very, very busy. And I, yeah, probably Bridget, probably, I might have done. I don't know which number he's at just now. But I, I have to say he did do the, um, because it's an early pickup time, you see. So, um, DHL pickup from our house here. So, he's done those. So, they are ready in the hallway nearly half the hallway is full of packages so he's done those and then for the postal services he's got time until tomorrow later on in the afternoon so when he takes them himself so that sort of puts the the pressure of getting them ready in the morning uh for dhl so then he'll be uh he'll be putting um those tomorrow so the royal mail they will go out uh hopefully you know well, most of them tomorrow or Tuesday, you know, it's it's a lot for one person to uh, process. So you've got to take that into account as well a little bit, of course, because he's just got two hands. And of course, he has no tape dispenser. I know. I gave him one. Doesn't want to use it. So there we go. I could get him one for his birthday. Not sure whether he would appreciate me. Maybe in a, a different kind, you know, than the one I gave him. I don't know. <laughs> if you have any any suggestions for a birthday present, let me know in the Facebook group, okay? Not here because he'll see it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, Jana. So let's talk about that, okay? So when I chose the colours of course, for this cow, this was at the end of last year. At the end of last year, I was playing around with the colours and I found this this kind of combination. Then I looked in the Stylecraft and I looked in the, um, in the Wendy and I bought, uh, I bought, I found both of them. Right, so they're both identical, one color that's slightly a different hue, but they are, you know, sort of more than identical. So I asked her which one I should go for, the Wendy or the Starcraft. So we kind of decided, um, you know, let's go for Starcraft because the jam jar we did in Wendy, so let's do the Starcraft now. But then after a week or so, I thought, well, you know, I quite like the Wendy, so let's go for the Wendy again. Anyway, we're humming and hawing which one to go for. In the end, I made mine in Wendy. I don't know why, but that's what I did. And so I made mine in Wendy, but we were fully intending on, on using or on making that pack in Starcraft as well, okay? Now, since the beginning of the year, Starcraft have had problems with their supplies. So certain colors have been out of stock. One that comes straight away to mind is Spring Meadow was out of stock, White was out of stock, Black was out of stock. So, you know, a lot of colors have been out of stock. They've come back in stock, but then others went out of stock and they still have not been replenished. And the promise was mid-March. So when I was filming all this in January, of course, we didn't know. That wasn't happening just then. Then, of course, in February, it all started happening. And we thought, what are we going to do? Because, you know. So... When, of course, I'd filmed this a long time ago. Okay, yes, I could have re-edited it, but we only found, yes, 20 StarCraft colors out of stock now. So we only found out that actually it's going to be mid, well, what does it say here? Um, okay, this is an email that Dirk received from... Um, the person in Starcraft, who knows, 
right? She says, I'm afraid we were expecting to be fully back in stock by the end of March. But it is starting to look like this is going to be delayed a couple of more weeks. Okay. Um, the date that we are now getting um, quoted is April and due to um, delays at the port and backlogs and things like that. So, you know, they had a problem. They um, The yarn arrived apparently and it was all um, like melted almost so they couldn't accept it. So they had to send that back. That was in January, February time. And then now they have the new stock arriving, but it's still on their way. So, you know, um, they say, she says also, we are now starting to get trucks loaded. But of course, driving it over by truck is going to take a while as well. So, in a way, thank goodness we have the Wendy. Because Wendy is fully stocked. We have um, 240 packs. We have half of them already in our possession and the other half will be sent out um, next week because we um, have got to, you know, we have got to um, have the space for them as well, which we do in our storage, but not that much space. <laughs> so uh, by the time did it gets sent out the first lot on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, we will have the next lot arrive. So we have 240 packs secured. And that's fine. And that's good for us just to get started. And this is all Wendy and the Wendy is fully stocked. So we can order another lot easily. They are full of stock in their warehouse. So it's just Starcraft that we've had a problem. Now that we wanted to really compare the two packs, see which ones you would go for, uh, because there is a difference in you know, in price, um, I wouldn't say there was difference in quality. There is difference in price. Starcraft, um, Starcraft is more expensive than the Wendy. We were going to, we were going to use all of you as test objects. You know, we were going to do a test, offer the Cal in two colors, uh, in two brands, and just see, just see which ones would be uh, bought most. And of course, now we can't. <laughs> but we would love to, if it all comes into stock, April, you know, we would love to offer it to you in StarCraft. But of course, yeah, we don't know what date. We don't know what date. Plus, plus, we don't know the quality. Because last time uh, something arrived at StarCraft, the quality was bad and they had to send it back. So I am sure that... You know, a lot of shops have a problem. Uh, but of course, of course, we sell in packs. Having said that, hang on, hang on. Having said that, we do sell in single balls as well. Okay, so you can buy single balls from our website as well. Just as well as now you can buy single hooks. Okay, so yes, we have got that possibility, but our setup, the way we started and what our speciality is, is packs. So you can look at our website and you see and you think, oh, that's a lovely palette of colors because that's what we do. We put a palette of colors together so that you can buy that and start yarning and crocheting straight away. OK, but of course, that takes away the trying to pick them all individually. But that is what we do. But of course, now we can't sell so many of our packs. There's no Lizzie. There's no. Ah, oh, so many packs. So please, darlings, I would like to ask you something. OK, if you were thinking of buying a pack of going to our website and having a look around and you are interested in a pack. There is a notification box. Please click on that and then fill out your email. We have the representative from StarCraft coming over, not next week, but the week after. I want to show her a list of people who have asked 
for a certain pack that is now out of stock because StarCraft is out of stock. Okay, we have all the colors that StarCraft has, but we cannot supply them because we haven't got them in, right? So some of our packs are unavailable. Please, can you make sure that you notify yourself? Yeah, yes. So if you've used the notification button, that would be wonderful because then we can present her with a list and already there's a long list there. I want to make the list even longer so we can show her, look, this is what is happening to our business. It is, there is a, you know, there's an effect to our business. Normal yarn shops, they'll just sell single balls and the person will say, oh yeah, I haven't got that, but I'll have this one or I'll have that one and I'll have that one. But we can't do that. We are now missing out, I am sure, on sales because of this problem. And, you know, maybe a few years ago, StarCraft did not make the right decision of changing suppliers. So I don't know, but, you know. So... Rebecca, it doesn't mean that you have to buy them, okay? Just do that. And for me, it would be a tool to show the StarCraft representative that actually this is how we operate, this is how we sell in packs, and now we can't, okay? Uh, William, we have got a couple of... Um, cotton packs already on our website now with the cotton soft but the problem is it's 40 colors right so 40 colors it's not as um, right I'll have a look I'll have a look whether I can I'm just looking at the uh, cotton there whether I can make up the cap the, the cal pack in cotton okay And I've just explained that StarCraft does not have all the colors in stock. There are 20 colors out of stock at the moment. There's nothing we can do about it. We would have, do you know, I can feel this, this um, scarf. <laughs> we would have um, offered it in StarCraft, but we can't because some of the colors are out of stock. So yes, eventually maybe but i can't tell you what date we will try and stock up as soon as possible but you know there we go you know yes and yes yes in exactly robin there has been supply issues in the company for months now because they've had to send back containers full of yarn uh, because it was all sort of melted or something like that. So the quality wasn't very good. Um, we are, yes, and yes, you can use both the Wendy and the StarCraft intermingled. So at the moment, I have them mixed up in my uh, cupboard here because some of them the labels came off and then I've put them back and now I don't know which ones they are anymore and I'm sure that's Wendy I'm sure there's uh, Starcraft so for me personally that stash is for what I make um, and I'm just going to use whatever it is um, if I do start a cal obviously I will get I always get a new pack right a new pack um, oh wonderful that's a fabulous well that's good, Anne, because then you can choose the colors from your stash and you can, uh, you know, top it up later on again. Um, and when I start a cal, I always get a Dirk to make me up a pack of what I want. So I have brand new balls from the storage uh, from the brand that I'm going to make it in. So not to worry about that. Yeah, so this was the that was the setup, Jana. Um, that was the setup. But um, we can't offer it because, and so Dirk hasn't put uh, the actual product on. Maybe, yeah, maybe he should. And then, yes, like you say, people would, would be notifying us for it. Um, but of course, yes, um, if you do uh, do that and you get a notification, um, you will know as soon as possible that it, it's back in stock. So, but there we go. 
Yeah, so Teresa also used the Wendy for the first time this week and she said it was lovely. I loved it um, for making, when I made the jam jar, I really loved it because it was a changeover for me and it, I was really surprised by the quality. And here as well, I loved using it for this as well. So, you know, there is, um, that's it. It's out of our control and we make the best of it. We are still crocheting. It's still the same type of yarn. I have not felt or had much difference with Starcraft. I'm quite happy using both. And you know what I was like. I was really a Starcraft girl. I was always going for Starcraft, always, always. Even the Scapius, I don't like so much because the Scapius is too soft almost. Um, so yeah, you know, I was so happy with the Starcraft. And then when the Wendy came in, I loved it. I really did. I started using it sort of June time last year, uh, just for trying out and for, you know, sort of playing with it and getting a, a feel of it. And yeah, by the time I was deciding on the cowl, obviously, I was hooked. So yeah. Great, Paula. Debbie, that is the problem. That is the problem. Wendy has 51 colors. Starcraft has 100 colors. And when I made Lizzie, which other ones? The Picnic Blanket, um, the Harlequin, the Kath Kidston pack, the Ola Keeley pack, all those packs I have compiled from the 100 colors and certain colors are just not available in Wendy. So Dirk and I are going to go and sit down and see which colors it is that are missing from Wendy, from the Wendy range. And we are going to try and convince Jamie, James C. Brett, to add to the Wendy range, those colors that we're missing, okay? So it's it's in our head, we want to do it, we will do it. The next time we get a chance to talk to Jane, James, or no, it's Jamie Brett, and the owner, his dad, is James C. Brett. So it's very confusing, Jamie, Jamie, James. <laughs> so the next time we, we talk to Jamie, we will try com and convince him but we need a list of those colors so we're going to sit down and look at our packs and see which ones are missing and then look at the other packs and see which ones are missing from the wendy and then you know make sure we get those colors um as first um so he has been talking about that a little bit already so we're trying to you know make him convince him to do it okay so Oh, thank you, Serena. Thank you. Oh, where's my mouse? Yeah. So that was the question. I know, Fran. I know. I got you all hooked on the Starcraft, which, to be honest, yeah, I mean, I was hooked on the Starcraft. Um, and I, I realized, yes, in over in America, you don't have Starcraft the way we do that here. But Wendy, I think, is coming to America as well. So he, um, Jamie has been talking to some stores. So hopefully he'll be selling it there as well. But also for us, it's great to be able to offer that to you as well. Something that you can't get easily in the US. So I'm hoping to, uh, you know, sort of, you know, you can be exclusive, you know, have a special yarn that you can't get anywhere where you live. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. I got you hooked on the Starcraft and now I got you hooked on the Wendy. But Fran, I'm not too worried because, because you can mix them up. I think, uh, Nancy, that Dirk's stripe blanket is Starcraft because of the more colors, because he was looking in the Wendy and then he wanted another color and then he looked again in Wendy and then so he went for Starcraft. So yeah, there we go. So that's how it goes when you when that's the thing that Starcraft has going for it, that it in fact is, you know, 
the Starcraft. And of course, yes, Nancy, there you go. So that was the color um, that was a problem, of course, in his pack. The claret, we had to um, change it for the burgundy. And I had already done the video. And of course, I'd used it for the border. So there was nothing I could do. So we changed the, that color. I mean, it says, you know, similar color. But there we go. Do you see what I mean? So, um, you know, one of the colors from his palette that he only chose in December when you guys um, challenged him, um, you know, was also out of stock or having supply issues. So, you know, that's why, you know, Oh, Becky. Oh, well, you must have been talking. Oh, that's why my ears were ringing. You must have been talking about me and the channel <laughs> to the nurse and the doctor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, yes, of course, Sarah, we do adapt. Um, you know, if let's say for us at the moment, Wendy is the way forward. OK. Um, we can get all the colors that they have. We'll see how, you know, if you can't, if you think about it, at the moment, StarCraft has only got 80 colors, if there's 20 out of stock. And then there's those um, variegated ones, you know, the, with, the, with the black. So those, is that 10 colors? So they've only got 70 colors going for them at the moment. And Wendy has 51 colors, so or 55 colors. So, you know? Uh, but yeah, we'll just go. Thank goodness we have the Wendy for the Cal. We can get on for a few more weeks now. <laughs> but imagine if we had not had Wendy. If I'd said last year in June, no, sorry, Jamie, I'm not doing that. Um, you know, I'm not changing my colours. I'm staying with Starcraft. What would we have done? We, we would have had to postpone the Cal or cancel it because we would not have had the colours to use. Oh, Paula, what do you think? What do you mean about that? My husband knows who you and Dirk are. Oh, my goodness. What does he know about us? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yes. Um, see what you can get. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to, you know, obviously, at the moment, We've got the Wendy. Uh, how many does Wendy have? Oh, is it 55 or uh, 51? Loose. Ik heb geen idee eigenlijk of je Wendy in uh, Nederland kan krijgen. Ik denk het niet. Ik denk dat je uh, 51 kan is. Ik denk dat je echt... Ah, helaas niet, zegt Gerry. Uh, dus ik denk echt wel dat het... Um, en de scheepjeskleuren, lijken die hierop? Ja... <laughs> Imagine if we had to have yarn rationed. Oh my goodness. Well, nobody talk about my stock. <laughs> Thank you, Calm Craft Cottage. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what? If yarn was rationed, I guess we would all find the most imaginative places to hide our yarn. I was just thinking I would hide it in my sofa. Can you see how thick the armrest is? How much yarn would fit in there, you think? I would hollow it out. <laughs> yes, Leanne, we do. This is Aurora yarn. Go and have a look at our website. The Aurora yarn is roaring. It's flying out the door. So we have lots of lovely Aurora yarn. And oh my goodness, there's this lovely blue and, and cream one. And someone has made it. Oh, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It, it's fabulous. I want to make one, but no, I can't. I haven't got the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so Leanne, they've got 10 colours in that. So, yeah, I mean, that is something that happened recently. James C. Brett 
has that Aurora yarn, six colors, right? And they've added four colors to it. So now there's 10 colors. We're thinking hmm, if they're interested in adding colors to that range, surely they must be interested to adding colors to their Wendy range. So we are going to try and convince him, yeah. Ah, my addiction. <laughs> to cr yes, we would all be forced to turn to criminal ways to hiding our stash, you know, like like they used to do with with the liquor or with other things that they, you know, were rationed uh, during the war or whatever uh, period in time. But wouldn't it be fun to try and hide our? Well, some people do hide their yarn from their husband. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. So I hope that if you are interested in taking part in the Cal, that you will be up for using the Wendy yarn for now. And I've got to say, um, you know, um, We've, we've just got to go with it at the moment. There's nothing we can do. Obviously, StarCraft, it, you know, it's out of their control as well uh, of what happened. So hopefully it'll all, you know, slow down and it'll work out very soon. And, you know. <laughs> Joyce, our sofa has a storage place. Oh, my goodness. And I have it full of yarn. Fabulous. <laughs> you must have a very soft storage. In a very soft sofa. <laughs> oh. See, there we go. Don't hide the yarn. I know I just said let's hide our yarn. But that was in, um, in a reply to, you know, imagine it's rationed or imagine it's banned and we have to, you know, keep it safe and hide our stocks. But the problem is you must make sure you know the yarn that you have. You know what your storage, you know, what, what your stash is. OK, because otherwise you will not use it. So, yes, if you are wanting to use the Starcraft, then I would suggest if you have the stash, if you have your, your uh, Starcraft, look for the colors. Um, but if not, yeah, try the Wendy. It's worth trying it. It certainly is worth trying it. Oh, yes, some of my cushions need more stuffing, um, Kaylin said. But of course, what? who was it? Um, uh, Joyce, go up. Oh my goodness, I'm always doing this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. I think we will be very, very ingenious in finding hiding places for our yarn. I am sure we will. Yeah, I'm sure I will uh, do that, Christine. Yeah. Yes, so Dirk also said, uh, we, you know, the price that we sell the Wendy at is the cheapest in on the market. So, you know, well, Nancy, there is a story there, you know, about the, the factory and Starcraft and Wendy. There is a story there. And I'm not supposed to tell you, but there is something there. OK, so there is a, a situation. Let's put it that way. But Wendy's fine. Wendy has supplies and Wendy is being produced. I'm not saying any more. OK, right. So. Leanne, you'll have to go to the. Tutorial because I cannot tell you just like that. Because I've been dealing with other things now. You know how they say. Problems are there to be solved. And challenges are put in front of us to be overcome. And this cow, it's been a challenge. Not only the yarn, but we've had all kinds of things happen. And I'm going to put a challenge onto you. 
Okay, I'm going to challenge all of you to take up the challenge to make this blanket. <laughs> <laughs> because it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. You will be <laughs> challenged <laughs> to make this blanket successfully. <laughs> you will need all your crochet knowledge, all your crochet brain to bring this. <laughs> I am not joking. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness, the things that have been happening during testing. It is, it is the Pharaoh's curse. This is what we've been talking about. From the word go, when I started working on this colorway, I started doing the stitches. You have no idea how many times I have restarted each week. I have lost count. Maybe you can do it in, yes, maybe, maybe 12 weeks. Do you know what? I probably need 12 weeks because, let me put it this way. I've just filmed all of the tutorials. I've just filmed the whole thing. I'll be rewriting the pattern. Yeah. So that means yesterday's 13 hours of filming might be ending up in the bin. And that's not everything. That was just for the border. Just for the border. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, the Pharaoh's curse has nothing on this. Nothing. <laughs> It's much worse than that. <laughs> much worse. <sighs> we can exactly, we can write a book about it, can't we, Zoe? So, yes, and the testers have all, basically, I think nearly all the testers have um, restarted. Um, I think one tester just kept going and it was okay. Um and yeah, we are now not frogging anymore. No, we don't frog anymore. That's far too time consuming. We just cut. <laughs> We're just cutting now. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's scary. I know, I know. We're calling frogging cutting. Yeah, it's scary. It'll be all right by the time the cal come, you know, is launched. Don't worry. By the time you guys start, we'll we'll get this. We will make sure it's perfect in every way. But the journey towards it has been challenging. And Teresa mentioned it and she said, you know, why not just take on the challenge and that's what we're doing we have taken on this challenge and it is not going to beat us this pharaoh's curse is not going to beat us we are going to beat it and you all are going to do exactly the same and you're going to have a wonderful blanket we are nearly there we are nearly there but it has taken a while But, you know, show us how good a crochet you are. Take on the challenge. See if you can manage it. You know, I want to turn this into a challenge for you as well. We will give you the best possible pro uh, pattern. And you guys, you can go with it. You can beat it as well. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yes, we shall prevail. We shall overcome. <laughs> Glowheart, we are not people who give up. I have to say, the testers have been wonderful. They've been asking all the right questions. They've been saying, what can we do? How can we change this? Is there anything we can, you know, do like this? Can we do this? Can we do that? Unbelievable. Okay, um, we have worked week through week and week and it it's coming together. We're getting there. It's just, you know, 
it's teamwork as well. Um, and it's wonderful because they keep me going and I keep asking the same questions. Shall we just chuck out this stitch or shall we just do this or shall we do that? And, you know, yes, Ophelia Talks Testers never quit. We just change hooks. Yes, that's a very, very good saying, Karen. Oh, my goodness. Yes, the pyramids, of course, the pyramids were not built in one day. And we have to accept that this pattern is not writing itself in one day. <laughs> Yeah, Angel, exactly right. The, mo the, the most recent brainstorming session was two and a half hours. And I had a brainstorming session with Zoe on Tuesday, and that was two and a half hours as well, wasn't it, Zoe? <laughs> so, you know, we will conquer the jewels of the Nile. Yes, indeed. Now, the thing is, darlings, you know, I'm doing, I, how should I say this? It's, I am not, I have a team, okay? And that's the moderators. But I don't have the whole team that one of those, um, you know, crochet pattern writing people from, you know, from a big brand have. That's not what I have. I design this on my own and I come up with the ideas on my own. And maybe sometimes I need to start consulting people from the start. So here with these, I loved all the stitches. I put them together. I made it work. But when other people started making it, it didn't do what it did with me. So we now have to move on a little bit from that. And we have to rewrite the pattern slightly, which is fine. We can do that. But... I need, I need the help to design, not the first instinct, not what I come up with, but to help me create afterwards. And I need that from a beginning, not from when it's too late, you see. So we're going to change. <laughs> Charlotte gave no comment. We're going to change the way we design cowls. Um, but we're learning. We're all learning. We're learning from this blanket. I hope you will learn lovely stitches, but we are learning how to design for the channel. And most of the time it's fine, but with something like this, I need help after I come up with the idea. Do you see what I mean? So it will still be my my idea from my brain but then for the practicalities I just need somebody to give me input straight away so that's how we're going to uh, work from now on but we're getting there we are getting there yes yeah, so Eileen everything yeah exactly the business yet yeah, teamwork thing is you see it's not just a couple of people anymore there's quite a lot of subscribers now did you notice? And oh my goodness, we have to do a giveaway. We've got more than 130,000 subscribers now. It's overwhelming. And do you know what? I feel, I feel the pressure as well. You know, I want to make, I can't just come out with something that's not going to work. Um, you know, before I could just wing it and it worked. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see how things go but I hope you are up for a challenge I just hope you're up for a challenge <laughs> and yes so uh, Charlotte she's behaving herself this time she's still wearing She's still wearing her uh, Cairo poncho because she said she didn't want to wear this one because it was hanging up really nicely. So I was going to give her my dark dress and the snow moon shawl. But she said, no, it's fine. Um, I, you know, she liked the look of uh, how that was hanging there. So she'll be happy in the Cairo uh, square for a little um, poncho for a little a bit longer. But... Can you tell there is something different about her? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, it's really um we'll 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 talk about the 130,000 in a in a couple of 
in, in maybe next week or the week after or something like that. Um, no, no, no. It's it always had a fringe. A kaleidoscope blanket. What 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 would you, um, Sandra? Can you give me an example? Can you send me a picture or something? I have no idea what you are um, sort of talking to. Was there a fluff? This fluff of oh my goodness, what's that? Something on my chair. Anyway, uh, yes. So the Cairo Square uh, turned into a poncho. Yeah, she moves. She moves. But can you tell there's something different about her? Can you, can anybody see? Can anybody see? You can see it now. See, Karen came to see me. No, she's not got a new dress on. She's got the same one as last week. No, she's not had her nails done. Nope. No, no, no. That the turtleneck. Um Yes, her naughty finger is behaving. Um, yeah, nearly, nearly. I think you guys are not thinking. Um, she hasn't lost weight, but she's gained <clears throat> a bit of weight. Look in the places that I have a bit more weight. Look, look, look. That I have a bit more shape. Can you see? Can you see? Hmm? 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 See, the thing is, I wanted her to be my sort of my equal <clears throat> and Karen mentioned Karen mentioned that actually Charlotte was a little bit um <clears throat> flat busted so <laughs> in comparison to to me in comparison to me so um <laughs> I added some um Some chicken fillets. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, so I added some chicken fillets. Um, <laughs> so if she was to wear something I made, it would look more realistic like me. See? <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. I've rolled onto my um my shawl. <laughs> Darlings, you know, I want to use her so she would be my my image, but yeah, it's a bit mm, you know, she's a bit okay. So let, let's let's uh... <laughs> so I'm going to um so now I've just stuck them in the dress. So I might go and buy her a, a bra. <laughs> I might measure her um, her um, her sort of chest circumference, you know, her torso circumference, and I might go and buy her a bra and then stick the fillets in it so that she's a little bit more, you know, looks like me. <laughs> you know, I can't deny what. <sighs> yeah, Dilig noticed it straight away. Karen and I were sitting here sort of like, you know, laugh, well, not laughing, but, you know, you know, sort of smiles on our face coming up because we came up with how to enlarge. And so Derek walked in and we said, oh, do you see anything different? Oh, yeah, he said, <laughs> I can, I can tell. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do that, Rhonda, but I think, uh, a geometric design. Okay, but I think if I buy her a bra, might that not work? I could, I could, I could, of course, I could, I could crochet her a bralette. What a good idea. I'll try to do that and I'll make it on her size. <laughs> Anita, yeah, um, we, we, we do, you know, <laughs> we do normal, <coughs> we don't normally go to this extent of, of, of our conversation, but <laughs> Sarah, 
laugh. It's a good thing I managed not to laugh while I was drinking. She says, take her to get fitted in a bra shop on her way to Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness don't make it yours no I won't I don't know your size Wendy <laughs> wouldn't that do you know they have got a, a bra fitting shop here in town so I could I could take her wouldn't that be a good video though that would be a great video <laughs> Oh, Susan, I hope you'll be okay soon. Dag Luz, goedenavond, tot de volgende keer. Yeah, you need to take her, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could give her an old brow of mine, but I don't think she'll put up with that. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, so just so that she is looking a little bit more realistic like me, um, of course, yes, her, um, you know, her sleeves, her arms are very, to be honest, my arms are not that much thicker. So yeah, I Karen said she has got very thin arms, but I, you know, I, my arms are thin as well. So it's not too bad. I like to think I'm the same size as Charlotte. Okay. So nobody tell me otherwise. I know I'm not. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, okay, Christy, no hand-me-downs. She wants her own bra. Of course she does. Oh, Megan. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness, yes. I mean, to be honest, oh, yes, this shawl, that's the love look. The love look shawl because it has a look here and it will do up like this look and then it stays like that there we go it stays on so yes i do hope <laughs> that you will um do you want to see her bra <laughs> if i buy her one <laughs> we'll have to have a special thing going saying look you know five minutes of of <laughs> I'm not going to have to um <laughs> I'm not going to have to you know put down that there's nudity in this video is is that <laughs> oh. um yes uh Rhonda it's it's this here so somebody mentioned it's a turtleneck it's not this is her body and this is fabric so I could pin I can pin in there but I've got it. So now the chicken fillets are just stuck in the dress. So she's wearing the dress still. And they're just stuck in here. <laughs> so they're just stuck in there. So it stays. But if I take that dress off and I put her another one on, I don't think it will stay. So that's why I thought if I get her a bra or a bralette or like a sleeping bra, just so, or like like a sports bra and then put her that on and then put the fillets in there then that or 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 get her a push-up bra get her a push-up bra <laughs> a pretty lace yeah a, a, like a lacy bralette i could get her that Megan, that is fabulous. She says, my husband paused our Netflix movie night at the start the other night. Oh, Derek does this as well. Finally, you choose a video and then it starts and it goes to doom and it goes doom. first to the toilet. <laughs> so it presses the, and it goes off or it goes to the toilet or it gets some a, a drink or something. You know, you, finally you start watching and then they pause. And she says, it was paused on the perfect shot displaying the to doom blanket. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes, Leanne, but I 
think she only she need, she doesn't need a big size bra. She's really she's really quite you know she's not that well. I suppose she's a size medium, a small medium. <laughs> oh, don't worry about him. Yeah, so either I'll have to make her one or <laughs> I told you I got it from there I did the same thing I paused it dump, and there it was you know see <sighs> he's listening very carefully so either I'll have to make her one or I'll buy her a uh, I could go I could go to a charity shop and get a second hand one. Oh no Christine's not going to go for that Put that little bit of you feeling up Charlotte on Facebook. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Can't get away with that either. Okay, but 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 maybe I can put her one of mine on and then I know the size she has, and then I'll go and get her a new one. Okay. She needs some lace. Oh yes, I have gloves. I could put her on some gloves. I'll do that. Well, hopefully I'll do that. I'll do that next week. Put her on some gloves. <laughs> yes, just for sizing, because obviously it's not going to be that easy. You know, you, that's how they size you. No, she doesn't, uh, Sharon. But I was thinking that there are fillers in that push-up bra, right? Then, you know, those fillers might just be enough. Look. But also, if I put the little filling things in that I've put in now, then yeah, Ali, come down, come here, me Yeah. Yeah. I know what you want. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, there they are. Come on. Let me get the blanket. Come on. Come on. No. Off she goes. <laughs> I know, Sandra, there's nothing wrong with that. I, you know, I love uh, browsing in charity shops and I found some lovely things there. But yeah, clearly it's not good enough for, for Charlotte. It's not good enough for Charlotte. Wow, Donna, that is wonderful. I'm glad that you, you know that you went in, went in like that, uh, you know. <laughs> yes, I could try there in exactly, Bridget, um, in the sale, but all, yeah, I mean, I'll have a look. She doesn't have to know where it came from, does she? <laughs> Come on, Leila. Uh, Leila, that, mm -mm. <clears throat> no, darling, that's Charlotte's dress. Come on, here. <laughs> yes well do you know what we talk about everything and I feel we can because we're all very sensible and you know why I want to to you know we this needed to be done she needed to be made so that she was more like me so that when I make a wearable she can model it and it looks exactly the same as it does on me see there is a reason for that and in a few weeks Leila no that's Charlotte I played no and in a few weeks you will know why because she'll have to model something and you know it's got to fit. It's got to fit. So we needed to, you know, Karen and I were looking at her and Karen said, well, I think actually, Anya, she needs some plastic surgery. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So there we go. 
yes, Mrs. T's is at it again. Um, you know, yes, I am busy with, with all this, but there are videos to do before the cow starts as well. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly, yes. Oh, my goodness, Leila uh, also sort of goes to her and pulls the dress. This is it. Um, Leila's been okay not doing that, but the minute I notice she's doing that, Charlotte will have to have her dress sort of hitched up so um, Leila doesn't do this in the night or something like that. So my dresses aren't getting, um, you know, ruined uh, by hanging um, on Charlotte like this and then Leila going for it with her nails. Um, yes, yes, uh, this, the cal will still start on the 21st of April because, of course, yeah, we have a... Um, no, the time frame is the same, Cindy. It's the 21st of April that we will start. Uh, we can't wait for StarCraft to, to deliver their pack, you know, to deliver their colors, um, because obviously that impacts the rest of the year. So 21st of April, we will start with, the, with those who have their Wendy yarn. If you want to wait for the StarCraft colors, of course, of course, the videos, the... Um, the videos, the tutorials, the pattern on the blog, and of course the pattern that will be for sale will all stay there. So you can do this cal later on if you want to wait for the Starcraft colors. But my advice to you and a lot of you and all my um, moderators and testers will agree if you do the cal, do it in real time with us. If you want to make it, make it with us because that's the best way to go for it and the best way to keep you motivated to get it finished, you know, in um, in the same time frame. Um, somebody online, uh, Roaming with Rover, uh, she's called Robin. She is starting the cal on her channel on the 23rd. So that's... Uh, Wednesday because it's her birthday um, and she's got a lot of um, some of her friends some of her subscribers to do the cal with them and I, I'm sure that some of those have have tried to buy the cal from us but we haven't been able to sell it so that's the Lizzie cal that she's doing and uh, yeah she's going to do it together with her friends and that's a lovely initiative but again she's she's made them all enthusiastic and she's she's sort of a date and we're going to do it like this and like this and we're going to do it together and that way it's really lovely for her to keep going together with her friends to make um to make the script to make the blanket right so um my advice to you is yes do it with us weekly it does help to keep going so this week for the videos, yes, thank you, uh, Benedict. Um, this week for the videos, we are going to have the lookbook. We haven't had the lookbook yet. Yes, there was a lot of uh, footage in the information video already. I've got a lot more footage and a lot more footage of the actual blanket. So um, I, um, I hope that you will enjoy watching the lookbook on Wednesday. I will be there. So it will be a premiere again. I loved it on Friday. We were really chatting and having a lovely time in the comments there. And so I will be there on Wednesday to chat with you during the lookbook. So there was will be lots and lots of footage there again. And then on Friday, um, <clears throat> on Friday, um, there was something smaller that I made to go with my bag. See, so I am very prone <laughs> to losing my keys. And at the moment, obviously I've taken it off, but this is now my key holder. So it's a mini cushion and it's a tassel. And so it's, made really big so that, um, you know, it's easy to find in my bag. And I have this 
situation here, this hardware, so I can easily attach it to my, um, my keys or to my bag. And not only that, this, dear ladies and gentlemen, is a smart key holder. It's smart. It has a tracking device inside. So if I was to forget this, my phone will tell me that I have forgotten my keys in a certain location and I can go back to them. So there is a, um, an air tag in there and it will, um, you know, if my bag was stolen or if I forget my keys, I can look on my phone and I can see where it is. Uh, maybe I can, I don't know exactly if I can show you. Oh, well, I can, obviously. I know how to get to it. Um, devices. Ah, oh, there's my phone. Items. Ah, there's my keys. Look, and I am home. I'm not going to show you because this shows my address. But yeah, I'm home. So my keys are at home. And it's, you know, I also put this. Um, yeah, if you leave the phone in the bag, exactly. Yeah, then, then you're stuffed. <laughs> I also um, took this with me to Egypt. Um, we put it in our suitcases and then we could check whether the suitcases actually went onto the plane. Now that was a little bit problematic because in Egypt you don't always have inter um, you know, internet or Wi-Fi or whatever, but it did work. I did see them, you know, I did see the suitcase coming into the airplane, so I knew it was uh, close to me. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Um, and Dirk has one as well. He keeps forgetting it everywhere, but there you go. That's men, isn't it, for you? Uh, but there we go, a smart key ring holder. So um, easy to make, very easy to make, but such a good thing to have with you. And even if you don't put the tag in, um, you know, it's not something that's... Um, Obviously, you can put it in if you have one, clearly, uh, but you don't have to have anything in there. I just put it in um, and I, you know, because I wanted something to put it in because it's a small thing. It's like a little bit bigger than a coin. So apart from me losing the air tag somewhere, I thought I would put it in a big thing uh, and make use of this big thing as my key ring holder because that way I would know where that is. But you can, of course, have it without, okay? Um, I forget my air tag, but not my keys, yeah. <laughs> and you can also have it without. Um, and for like school children and things like that, if they put it in their school bag and they lose their bag or, you know, travelers put it in their bags and they, then at least they, you know, they have a chance of getting it back or knowing where it is. So um, you can also make it without. And that way you just have a big key ring holder. <laughs> then at least you know that your key is in your house, Susanna. <laughs> if it's in your house, then it's in your house. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Lux reviews, yes, I know. Uh, this one here is the one where I finished. So I know how to undo this and I can get into it with... Um, it's in a little bag here. This bag is only folded, so it's not closed up, so I can get into it. So um, I can open the pillow to change it. And if I have forgotten, I just watched the video to see where I've put the end. It's in here somewhere. Can I find it? Look here. There is my end. See? But of course, it came from the side. So I just have to follow this. Yeah, look, there we go. 
So I just have to follow this and it goes to this corner, I think, and then here I can undo it and start undoing it. Yeah. So I can, um, and now the thing is you could sell these. If you, if you make things for selling, you could sell these and leave it open, sort of a couple of stitches here, and then leave everything open. They can put it in and then they can sew that little bit up and, um, you know, because, um, uh, because um, then, you know, it, it gives you the possibility to make this and then they can put their own thing in. Um, and of course, also change the batteries. Um, Oh, yes, yes, Christy, I know, um, you know, you can get, of course, travel insurance and things like that, but I'd rather have my own stuff back than have to rely on insurance and get the money, and then you still don't have your own stuff back, right? Uh, you, you've got new, but you don't have that, you know, sentimental bag or sentimental whatever you have in your uh, purse or bag. So, yes, I'd rather uh, try and get my uh, my original item back instead of you know the insurance money so thank you all so very much for being here we will have an update on how the pharaoh's curse is doing next week and please 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 all before you go to bed tonight just give me a little bit of a, a thought you know make that curse go away just help anya <laughs> you know, to break the curse. <laughs> so I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will see you on Wednesday with the lookbook for the cow. And I will see you, well, I won't see you on Friday, but you will see my tutorial on Friday. Send me some positive vibes for that challenge that we all have at the moment or that the testers and I have and that we look after that uh, blanket and you know yes the pharaoh should be flattered exactly I am doing them a, a service <laughs> okay everyone I'll see you next week with my you know with my key ring telling me where I've lost my keys and with the lookbook for the cow. Thank you very much for being here. Where is she? Oh, she's back in her bed. And Charlotte thanks you because she's now getting a new bra. <laughs> and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>